Hi guys, welcome to my videos. So guys, today in this video, we are going to watch how to travel to Andorra. Before I proceed further, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please go and subscribe right now. And also I would like to clarify, neither I am an immigration consultant nor I am a government body. So if you take anything out of this video, you do it at your own risk. All right, guys, so let's proceed. So guys, unlike other videos, why I didn't say uh, like visa to Andorra and why I said travel to Andorra. The reason is quite simple because the government of Andorra does not offer or does not require any type of visa. So you can see I've opened this official uh, government site in front of you where they have clearly written that they do not require any type of visa. And uh, Andorra is not a Shenzhen country, but they do not have any international airport where you can directly land. So if you want to enter Andorra, you have to enter either through France or Spain. These are the two countries you have to go and from there you can travel to Andorra. So what does it mean? That means if you want to travel to Andorra and although Andorra does not require any visa, you need to have proper permit documents in order to uh, in order to uh, travel to Andorra. So you need to have that. So let's say if you are a French citizen or a European citizen, uh, European national, then that's fine. And if you are from a country that does not require a Schengen visa, again, that is fine. But if you're from a country that does need Schengen visa, then that means you need to have uh, a Schengen visa and that to multiple entry because first entry when you enter, okay, France or Spain, whatever. Second entry when you return from Andorra. So let's say you land in France, you go to Andorra. Then in return, you again enter France and from there you go, for example. So you need to have multiple entry visa. So in this way, you can go through. And they have also given some information. So it's quite simple. And if you want to stay there for 90 days, uh, more than 90 days, you need to apply for a residence permit. And they have also given more links about before you arrive. Tourist tax, get around your way, passport, visa, and custom. Okay. So they have given more info. If you are a European Union citizen, you do not need the visa. Right? So, okay. If you are a citizen of a country that does not belong to you, but in the Shenzhen, you uh, must bring a valid passport. So they have given all the information. To, as I said, with an example to a multiple Schengen entry visa. All right. So I hope you got the idea. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.